Thank you for attending Kinetics College. This is a Kinetics USA initiative where we do classes every Monday. Aspire RN and Dr. Nurse Paul is tasked to do classes for free every, every first Monday of the month. And we're doing this today live. I'm streaming live from Houston, Texas. And I just came back from the Philippines about two days ago, and I'm still struggling from jet lag. I haven't really been able to sleep the whole night. I've been awake since like, uh, I'd say, 9 p.m. or 10 p.m., and I couldn't sleep the whole night because my time zone is still in the Philippines. Thank you guys for joining today. Please kindly tag your friends and share this to your pages so we can reach more nurses for today. We're going to talk about next generation and clicks. I'm going to show you guys a case study. I've done this in one of my classes online before. And um, we're going to answer this live for you. I'm going to show you what case study looks like in Next Generation NCLEX. Hello, Vanessa from Davao. Hello, Jonalyn from London. Hello, Faiza from Kuwait. Thank you. Um, Anna from the Philippines. James from the Philippines. Elaine from Cameron. And... Uh, Mitch, is answering current practice questions and had to tune in. Thank you. Are you my current student in Aspire RN right now? And Vanessa, thank you for tagging your friends. Ina, thank you for joining us from the Philippines. LJ from Abu Dhabi. Sabbath from the UK and she's tuning in and linked in again. This is Kinetics College. And this show today is hosted by your host, Dr. Nurse Paul. That's my social media name. And the Spire RN, which is the company that I built to um, provide NCLEX services for foreign graduate nurses like us. Hello, Dorothy from the Philippines. Jasmine, hello from Australia. Thank you for following this show. Today, we're going to talk about next generation NCLEX. Who's excited to know about next gen NCLEX? Do you guys have questions about next gen NCLEX? Use the comment section and I'll gladly answer this for you live and online. So, you guys can have clarifications with your questions and hesitations about the next gen NCLEX. But next gen NCLEX is happening April 1, 2023. We're going to get our first batches of nurses that will be taking the next gen NCLEX. If you guys are not familiar, I've done a couple of live shows, both for Kinetics USA, but I also do my own show in my own social media, in Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and TikTok at Dr. Nurse Paul, and you can just search my playlists in YouTube, and you'll see there are all the past shows that I did about next generation NCLEX. Again, welcome everyone to Kinetics USA. Watch Aspire RN NCLEX Review Provider in partnership with Kinetics USA every first Monday of the month. We have classes every Monday. It's different companies, different NCLEX providers, and English exam providers. But Dr. Nurse Paul and Aspire RN hosts the shows every first Monday. We have Charles watching from Uganda. And uh, Dothi is tagging her friends. Thank you guys for joining us today. April is also here. Thank you for joining me. Could you guys please tag more of your friends and share this to your pages so we can reach more friends today. And again, Kinetics USA is offering NCLEX scholarships. You must meet the requirements that Kinetics USA have set but in partnership with um, in partnership with Aspire RN, Kinetics USA is offering NCLEX scholarships. If this is what you are interested with, we have posted the comments of the link. It's https colon um, backslash backslash cusa dot link backslash Aspire RN. So click that link right now, and one of the Kinetics USA recruiters is gonna. Talk to you and check your qualifications and if you can pass a qualifying exam for scholarship, but this is entirely free. So if you are short on budget, but you want to do or want to get a quality review for foreign graduate nurses like you and me, this is the best time to click that link right now and uh, uh, um, contact Kinetics USA or if you're, if you're having issues. Looking at this link, you can also directly send me a message and I can help you as well. All right. Again, welcome to Kinetics USA, Kinetics College in partnership with Aspire RN. We are doing a Kinetics College NCLEX class today. And 
We're going to talk about next gen NCLEX. Yay, I'm so excited. We are less than 60 days away from the next generation NCLEX. Any nurses will be taking the NCLEX soon after April 1. If you are taking the NCLEX before April 1, please make sure you pass the NCLEX so you don't have to deal with next gen NCLEX. If, God forbid, you fail your exam and you have to retake, you're going to retake it in next gen NCLEX format. So everybody that are yet to take the NCLEX or choosing or deciding if they want to take the NCLEX or will be taking the NCLEX very soon after April 1, we're going to do the next generation NCLEX. And Aspire RN is one of the leading foreign graduate NCLEX review provider with me as the CEO, Dr. Nurse Paul. And I will be one of your instructors and mentors. We are one of the leading providers providing next-gen NCLEX for foreign graduate nurses. A lot of next-gen NCLEX compatible providers are um, targeted for Americans, but there is a special you know, way of delivering review programs for foreign graduates like, like us because our competencies are not really exactly the same as American graduates. There's a reason why there's a national... Um, pass rates for foreign graduates for first-time takers of only 46% compared to 86% of the Americans. So more than 54, 55% failed the NCLEX the first time. And it's a very difficult exam because of the educational differences and competencies and now the next-gen NCLEX. But don't worry if you enroll with my program, if you don't go, sorry about that. If you don't qualify for the scholarship and you enroll in my program, I will make sure that you will pass the NCLEX through my program. And today we'll be releasing a new program. We call it the Dr. Nurse Paul Method or DNP Method. All of our classes are going to be next-gen NCLEX compatible. And you will get 42 live classes up to the time that you will be taking your exam to final coaching. From the orientation to final coaching, you're going to get 42 live classes with me and many of my instructors, the most number of live classes in the NCLEX review industry. Nobody else could provide you better, all right? Because I've added more days for NGN classes. I called it the NGN master classes where all we talk about is NGN types of questions and we're going to answer this just like what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to give you a preview of what's going to happen if you enroll in my program, all right? Or Again, Kinetics USA can also provide you scholarship. Let's flash that link again at the bottom. So we're going to see the link right now being flashed on the screen. This is how you avail or get or get qualified for the NCLEX scholarship being provided by Kinetics USA in partnership with Aspire RN. The link is cusa.link slash Aspire RN. That is how you get connected with us or send us a message through social media channels as well. And we can send you a message back so we can answer your questions. All right. I guess many people are joining today. Thank you again. Let me know where you guys are located for those that I haven't called yet. And many people are joining us today. Moni is here from India. She wants to apply as an RN. Please get a hold of one of our Kinetics USA um, recruiters, again, the link is cusa.link slash aspire rn. Okay, let me have coffee real quick. It's too early here at 7 a.m. I haven't had sleep because of jet lag. Mm, delicious. All right. And we're going to talk about case studies today. Case studies will be an integral or vital part of the next gen NCLEX. Each case study, so a case study is an evolving case. We're going to show you what it looks like. Um, each case study will have six questions. So one case study, six questions. This will be talking about the clinical judgment model of the next gen NCLEX. Question one in a case study would always be about recognizing cues. Question number two is about analyzing cues. Question number three is about prioritizing hypotheses. Question number four is about generating solutions. Question number five is going to be about taking actions. And question number six will be about evaluating outcomes. So we're going to have six questions today, six questions from one case study, all right? And we have Yusuf joining us in LinkedIn from Nigeria. Hello, Yusuf. Thank you for joining us today. We have Joy also watching us from Nigeria. Wow, we're all over the world today. Anyone here from the Americas, Latin Americas or Northern Americas? 
because I've only seen people from the African, European, and Asian continent, but I haven't seen my American continent people yet. Just to make sure that we're covering the whole world. But thank you guys for joining today. And um, when are you guys planning to take your NCLEX exam while well, we're still waiting for more people to join? Anyone? Anyone will be taking the next gen NCLEX very soon. After April 1, you're going to have your next gen NCLEX. Kring is joining us from Philippines. Hi, Kring. Thank you for joining. Bea is um, joining us from Philippines as well. Thank you for joining me today. This is going to be an interactive show, people. I want you guys to help me answer the case study that I'm going to be showing in a little bit. All right. Again, for those that just came in, thank you for joining Kinetics College by Kinetics USA and Aspire RN. Today, we're going to talk about the next generation NCLEX case study study and there will be six questions per case study and each question will meet the competency of the clinical judgment model by the NCSB and we have Zerm from UAE and Felicity from Nigeria thank you Joy said she will be taking the NCLEX soon using the next gen NCLEX format and she is under kinetics right now thank you Joy for joining Anna said she will be taking the exam in July, and Abonjili is taking it on June this year. Good luck, guys. If you need help with NCLEX preparation and next-gen NCLEX preparation, just send me a message in the Dr. Nurse Paul social media pages, or you can also log on to my website, AspireRN.com. We'll be launching today our new NCLEX program called the Dr. Nurse Paul Method, which will include next-generation NCLEX, preparation and review classes into the review program all right so if this is what you are interested with send me a message oh bonjali said you sent me a message on facebook well i'm i'm sorry if i don't reply as fast as i can i have a team that helps me answer messages as well because i'm flooded with a lot of um, messages if i don't respond back send your message again so you get to the top of the list because we do get hundreds of questions every day in all my social media channels but i will be gladly i will be glad to answer i'll be happy to answer your question today after this show okay thank you guys now let's talk about the case study we're gonna have case study number two today Where's number one? Number one was shown back in December or January, I think. In one of my past shows with Kinetics USA, I gave you an example of case study number one. Is this the first time that you're joining me today or have you seen me do this class in the past? Anyone here is joining me for the first time and has never seen me do this? Because I don't only do this with Kinetics USA. I also do this every Saturday in my own social media channel the Dr. Nurse Paul Show. And let me see how many of you guys have just joined me today or have never seen me do the classes in the past. For those who do not know me, I'm the CEO of Aspire RN, which is an NCLEX review provider based here in Houston, Texas. And I am an NCLEX instructor for 15 years. 15 years, that's why I'm bringing my experiences both outside the U.S., in my hometown of Philippines, and also here in the U.S., and I'm combining them to create a very high-quality NCLEX review program under Aspire RN. This is the reason why Kinetics USA, which is one of the largest foreign graduate nurse recruiters, trust Aspire RN because of the quality that we bring onto the table. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you, Kinetics, of course, for Trusting my company, Aspire RN, and my team. If I was part of Aspire RN last year, do I need to join an NGM program? Nope. If you are already a current um, Aspire RN student, you will be transitioned to the next gen program. So don't worry about it. We're going to be um, transitioning you for free if you are already our R student. All right. So don't worry about it. And uh, Craig said she's also seen me before in my Dr. Nurse Paul page. And she said, I'm a fan. Thank you for that. I feel flattered. I'm just here to like um, do free classes online. That's my passion ever since. All right. And uh, let's see. Stephanie, if you want, if you are interested, go to AspireRN.com or send us a message on Facebook, AspireRN or Dr. Nurse Paul. And one of my team members will get a hold of you. 
All right, let's see case study number two today. Are you guys ready? All right. Okay, can you guys pass the next gen NCLEX? I want you to write this time in the comment section with all caps. Yes, I can. If we are manifesting that you are passing the NCLEX, write it down right now on comment section. Yes, I can. Are you going to pass the next gen NCLEX? Write it down. Type it down right now. Yes, I can. There you go. Good morning to those that are just joining us today. Please tag your friends. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Woo, let's go. All right, let's do it. You guys are going to help me answer these questions, all right? All right. I think everybody's ready now because everybody's responding in, in the comment section. Yes, I can. All right. Okay. We're going to read this case. I'm sorry it's not as big as I can, I, I want to do it, but you can zoom it in if you're using your phone. I'm going to read it for you, all right? We're going to answer this together. The nurse in the emergency department is caring for a 1717 your old male client. Let's check the tabs because you're going to have to flip through the tabs, open all the tabs to see the whole chart. It's like an emerge. Uh, I'm sorry, it's like an electronic medical record. It's like a patient chart. You're going to have to open all the chart to see what's going on with the case. Remember, a case is a story about a patient, and this story changes over time. Just like how you would deal with a patient clinically, right, when you're in a hospital, right? And a lot of you foreign grad nurses like me are already experienced nurses at bedside. So this will give you a little advantage because you, are already, you already have developed the clinical judgment. But we're just going to put it to test right now, okay? Let's read history and physicals for body system pulmonary. We're going to read the question first. The nice shortness of breath reports discomfort in the lower left side of chest when taking a deep breath. Gastrointestinal reports feeling abdominal fullness and occasionally nauseated. Musculoskeletal. The patient sustained an injury to the left rib cage after being struck by a mechanically beached baseball in a batting cage last, last week, right? Battling cage last week. Reports intermittent pain in the left shoulder, 6 over 10 in the numerical rating scale. Feels lightheaded, significant bruising to the left shoulder. Orthoscopic repair to the left shoulder for a torn rotator cuff last year. Psychosocial, client has not felt well enough to attend baseball practice since the injury. So we're seeing a lot of red flags here, right? There's respiratory issues for sure. There's gastrointestinal issues. There's musculoskeletal and skin issues. We're seeing bruises there and pain. All right. So let's remember that. It's going to be important to answer the question later. Now let's click nurse's notes right there. If I click nurse's notes, this is what we see. At nine o'clock, the client appears pale and slightly diaphoretic. Large amount of bruising noted along the left torso and over the left upper quadrant of the abdomen. Tenderness, guarding, dullness to percussion noted in the abdominal assessment. Slightly diminished breath sounds noted in the left lung fields and auscultation. Client has a productive cuff. EKG shows normal sinus rhythm. All right, remember... Remember those positive flags, flags, pale, diaphoretic, bruising, tenderness, guarding dullness to the percussion, to the abdomen, diminished breath sounds, productive cuff. Those are positive signs or significant findings. Vital signs. What can you see? What are the abnormal findings in the vital signs here? What are the abnormal findings? We have pulse, decreased, RR, decreased. BP is also decreased, right? So what's our concern here? PRRR, blood pressure, both, are, I mean, all of them are all decreased, right? How about the labs? How about the labs? Look at the labs. What are abnormals? Look at the white blood cell count. It's 19,000. Your hemoglobin and hematocrit H and H is 9 and 27. So all of them are abnormal. 
Correct? All of them are abnormal. Now that we've seen the whole case of what's going on, let's now proceed to the question on the right side of your screen, right there. Okay? Which of the following assessment findings require immediate follow-up? Immediate follow-up. All right? Your options are long sounds, shoulder pain, productive cuff, abdominal assessment findings, false respiration, blood pressure, and temperature in pulse oximetry reading. What are your answers? This is a select all that apply. It's also right minus wrong question. What are your answers? Anyone? Anyone? Please tag your friends so more people can join us today. Anyone, what are your answers? Leila already showed me her answers, but what about the rest? I'm still waiting for everyone's answers. I'm not sure if I got disconnected though. I don't think so. Um, all right. Mitchie gave her answers already. How about the others? We have more than 100 viewers today. I want to see your answers. Don't Google the question. Which assessment findings would require follow-up? Who's attended my class in the past? Some of you guys, right? Do we prioritize long sounds? Yes. Because there's shortness of breathing and decreased breath sound on the left side. Do we prioritize shoulder pain? There's pain here, there's bruises. Yes, let's let's consider that, all right? Because that's still a significant finding. Lab results, obviously, yes. Productive cuff, yes. Abdominal assessment, fullness, nausea, yes. Pulse respiration and blood pressure, yes. The only not included here is temperature and pulse oximetry because... Your pulse and temps, uh, I'm sorry, pulse oximetry reading and temps are both normal. They are both normal. So answer is one, two, three, four, five, six. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six are the answers. Everything that has an abnormal finding, you include. That's just how it is. Okay? Everything that has abnormal finding, you include, with the exception of number seven. All right? That's number seven. All right? Jan Doe is an Aspire R and NCLEX passer. Congratulations. Let's all clap our heads to Jan Doe. Can we uh, feature that um, comment, Miss Milanis, so we can, so everybody can see that Jan Doe uh, is one of our NCLEX passers. Congratulations, Jan Doe. Send me a message. I want to interview you, all of my passers. I want to put on a little video chat and see what we can help you with after okay thank you john doe for trusting aspire r and in my team thank you for being in my class thank you for being one of the aspire r and a lister that's what we call our passers thank you congratulations let's all say congratulations john doe i don't know if it's his full name but we can say jan congratulations all right anyway and hopefully we can get that energy from Jan as well so we can pass our NCLEX. You guys are ready to achieve your American dream? Yes? Can you pass your NCLEX? Yes, I can. All right, let's dive it down. Congratulations, Jan. You're receiving a lot of compliments right on the comment section. Thank you. Thank you. We want that energy from Jan to fill us up right now, right? We want that passer energy to to be with us today, all right? Anyway, thank you, Jen, for sharing that information and thank you for sharing your victory. NCLEX is very tough. I can tell you, I've been teaching this for 15 years. I wouldn't be here teaching you guys. Uh, Kinetics won't even invite me if this is not valuable at all. We're here because there's so many pe people failing. We're here to help solve that problem. And um, I'm still here educating nurses 15 generations down since I graduated nursing and started teaching. But I'm happy with what I'm doing. Okay, this is my passion. So thank you, John, for uh, for trusting Aspire RN in my team. And for everybody, I wish you all good luck. All right, now let's go to question number two. Same situation, same case. Nothing was ever added to the notes. Let's go to the question right away. Which of the following issues 
is the client at risk for developing or off developing? Let's do your differential diagnosis. Differential diagnosis. Stroke, pneumothorax or hemothorax, I'm sorry. Bowel perforation, splenic laceration, pulmonary embolism, abdominal aortic aneurysm. What are your answers? This is select all that apply. I want to put your assessment skills to the test. Let's see if you know your signs and symptoms for all of these conditions. So you see the, the thing with next gen NCLEX while I'm waiting for you guys to answer, put your answers on the comment section, is the contents are the same. It's just a different way of showing the questions and providing the answers. There's just more different types of questions this time. But contents are the same, so it's still important that you know your contents. If you don't know your contents, then you will have a difficult time answering next-gen NCLEX. Very important that you know your contents. Contents means when we talk about stroke, you should know your signs and symptoms there, your pathophysiology, your priority assessment, priority management, positioning, medications to use. What are the side effects of those medications? That's only stroke. We're not talking about the others yet. So you have to have very good grasp or mastery of skills. I keep talking about this in my TikTok and Instagram. Mastery of concept is the most important test-taking strategy for the NCLEX. Now we'll put this to the test. Let me see what your answers are. We have diverse answers. Does this look like stroke? No, because there's no hem hemiparesis, right? Or hemiparesis. Nope. Hemothorax? Yes, because there's difficulty of breathing, decreased breath sounds on one side, and this is trauma. Yes. Bowel perforation. Does this look like a bowel perforation? What are the signs of bowel perforation to you guys? Rigid abdomen, fever, nausea, vomiting, constipation, shock-like symptoms. I have not seen fever. I have not seen rigid abdomen. It just says feeling full, but not rigid because it should be peritonitis. There should be fever, right? So we're going to remove number three. Does it look like bowel perf? You don't get bruises with bowel perf, right? How about splenic laceration? I'll include that just because the case was a baseball bat, all right? It's a trauma. The patient was hit on the left side with a baseball bat. The spleen could have ruptured, right? So splenic laceration, yes. How about pulmonary embolism? Guys, if there's pulmonary embolism, there's shortness of breathing, decreased SpO2, right? Patients having chest pain, light-headedness, dizziness, mainly chest pain. We don't have it. It literally says there... Uh, I mean, shortness of breath too. It literally says there, denies shortness of breath. Remember, pulmonary embolism is occlusion of the pulmonary arteries, which can lead to both respiratory and cardiac collapse. So there should be signs of respiratory um, problems like shortness of breathing, right? We don't have that. So pulmonary embolism is ruled out. Abdominal aortic aneurysm, yes, because we have abdominal fullness and the blood pressure is going down. It might have ruptured. So answer here is... Two, four, and six. Two, four, and six. Two, four, and six. All right. Very good. All right. Now, question number three. Same situation. Same situation, all right? Nothing was added, so I'm not going to flip through the different tabs anymore. I'm not going to open history, nurses, notes, vital science, and lab. But during your NCLEX, please open it. Make sure that you guys have read everything and that nothing changed, all right? Complete the following sentence by choosing from the list of options. The nurse should first address the clients. All right, choose from this. Clients what? All of them were part of her priority, but now you can only pick one. What is our priority? You can only pick one. What is our priority? Where are my people from YouTube and LinkedIn? I haven't seen them for a bit. I've only been seeing the Facebook people joining us, but the LinkedIn people and YouTube, are you guys still here? What's your priority? Wonderbird is also here. He was also in my class last night and is also our Aspire RN student. Thank you. Please don't miss your class. It's Wonderbird with Aspire RN, right? Patricia, Eponym already has answers. Faisal already has answers. Q, 
can you already provide your answer? Troy, I'm still waiting for more people. I've only seen like 20 people. I want at least half of the attendees to give me the answers. This is fairly easy for me, all right? I hope it is also easy for you. But what will you prioritize? It's principle of ABC, airway, breathing, and circulation, respiratory takes priority. You've already seen signs like decrease breath sound on one side you've already seen signs like chest pain guys there might be a hemothorax there right this is a trauma so you think about those things answer is respiratory status very good you guys are enjoying case studies i think for me it's straightforward for as long as your concept is good so you see when you check my tiktok people go crazy about when i say something about next gen act like some people are saying Oh my God, I'm so scared. Like, what am I going to do? Like, how can you help me? Well, other people would say, why are you guys scared about next gen NCLEX? It's pretty easy. That's all. That's both right and wrong, right? Remember, each student have different learning abilities, right? Those students that are saying next gen NCLEX looks easy. For me, it is. Because all the case that, all, all the information that I need is already there, right? If I If I'm good with my signs and symptoms, and I know what they are, if I know my pathophysiology and my meds and all my treatments, I can honestly answer this easily. So if my concept is master, if I've mastered a concept, if my foundation for nursing concepts are good, then I won't have problems with NGN. The same is true with you. Now, if your problem is foundation, like if I talk about hemothorax and you can't even define, oh my God, what is hemothorax? So, oh my God. Why is there lung collapse in pneumothorax? What happened? Guys, you have to go back to your books. You have to go back to your lectures. That's what we do in Aspire R and we train you first with your concepts. And if you progress and we think you're good with your concepts, then you can proceed to the NG and master classes. That way there's correct progression and we make sure that you actually complete all the objectives that Dr. Nurse Paul has set in our program. Okay. Anyway, question number five, we have a new data. From 10 o'clock a.m., right? Emma said she couldn't hear me from LinkedIn. I'm so sorry about that. We were having technical issues. Thank you for jumping in and joining us in Facebook, right? Anyway, let's look at 10 o'clock. It says client was diagnosed with splenic laceration and left-sided hemothorax. Oh, no. We have traumatic complications, splenic lacerations, left-sided hemothorax. What's your major complication for both? For both. Both complication for both. Well, for left-sided hemothorax, you're going to have lung collapse, so circulatory and respiratory collapse. But both of them are also bleeders. So you're going to have to consider bleeding and shock. Do you remember your vital signs earlier? What was happening with the blood pressure? Is it going up or down? You remember your blood pressure earlier? What was going on? Up or down? They're going down. It's going down, right? How about the pulse and RR respirations? They're, they're both going up. These, these are signs of shock. Typical triad for shock. Is the patient having shock already? Yes. Is the patient possibly bleeding at this point? Yes. You look at your H and H earlier, it's also down. The patient's bleeding, all right? What's our management here? Do we need to send the patient? If I'm in the ER, who are ER nurses here? I'm an ER nurse. I'm a trauma nurse. And that's why I like case studies because they always talk about the patients in the ER, the patients in the ER, patients in the ER. So that's what I can help you with because I'm an ER nurse. And I'm going to do the NGN master classes myself in Aspire R. And I have many instructors. All of them are good, high quality because I chose them. But I'm going to do the NGN master classes myself. All right. Back to the situation. All right. So what is the priority? If I'm an ear nurse and this patient is diagnosed with splenic laceration and hemothorax, my priority is to send this patient right away to the trauma surgeon into the OR, correct? All right. So what's your management here? Do we give IV fluids? Indicated or not indicated? Indicated. Very good, April. We have to bring the patient to start OR, but while waiting for the OR, we can start our trauma management. If you guys have taken your trauma nursing course, it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. <laughs> so many letters, but all of those mean something, all right? Part of that is stabilizing the patient. All right, IV fluid, indicated. Serum type and screen, indicated. Chest physiotherapy, Mm -mm, not indicated. It's going to cause more injuries. No, oh, no, 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 no CPT. Insertion of NGT. 
Not right now, all right? Because there's splenic injur injury. We don't know if there's diaphragmatic trauma as well, all right? D don't do NGT yet because the patient has probably a diaphragmatic trauma as well. So what's the problem? If there's a diaphragmatic trauma, if there's a tear, you might be able to, like, the, the, the tube might flip and go back to the respiratory or you can have more complications. What if the esophagus is also bleeding or trachea? So you don't want to do NGT for now until there's a clearance from the doctor. That's usually after intubation. So don't do NGT right now. Not yet. Not yet. How about administer prescribed pain medication? Pain medication. I think I've seen someone here said no. The other one said yes. Pain medication. Yes or no? Yes or no? Guys, NGT is not a priority right now. It will be done later, but NCLEX is all about priority. It's about right now, all right? Pain, yes, don't withhold pain medicine. If you're in the U.S. and you've withheld pain medicine, the patient can sue you for under-medicating the patient. That's poor nursing care. Yes, we need to give pain medicine, all right? So again, IV fluids indicated, serum type and screen indicated, CPT, chest physiotherapy, not indicated, NGT, not indicated, administration of prescribed pain medication, indicated. How about question number five? Look at 1030. The client is now referred to immediate or for immediate surgery. We're not going to go to the OR. Now look at your right side of the screen right there. This is select all that apply. Which of the following actions should the nurse take? Letter A, provide or mark the surgical site. Provide the client with ice chips. Number two, three, perform med reconciliation. Four, obtain consent. Five, insert IV fluids. Six, I'm sorry. Five is insert peripheral VAD or IV. Six, inform the client about risks and benefits. Seven, assess the client's previous experience with surgery. Or eight, ask the client's parents to wait in the waiting room while plan of care is discussed with the client. All right. What's your answers? Or answer. Answer or answers. What's your answer? Anyone? This is OR. Any OR nurses here? Please stand up. Please stand up. Anyone? Please don't forget to follow Dr. Nurse Paul in Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram for more shows like this. I do this almost every week. Every Saturday, I have a show, Dr. Nurse Paul show. All right? Ooh, that's a lot of answers. Are you guys sure about this? Mm. Mm. Anyone? Ooh. Some people just like to check everything. Remember, in next-gen NCLEX, your select all that apply becomes right minus wrong. So if you're answering too much and that's not required, you are going to get zero points. Can you mark the surgical site? No, that's for the surgeon. Can you provide a client with ice chips? No, patients on NPO. Can you perform medication reconciliation? No, that's the primary responsibility of the prescriber or the surgeon or the anesthesiologist. Can you obtain consent from surgery? No, the doctor has to do it. You can only witness. If you are obtaining consent, you're also explaining the risks and benefits. That's for the doctor. Can you insert IV? Yes. You need that for the medicines and IV fluids and blood transfusion. Can you inform the client about the risks and benefits of surgery? No, that's for the doctor. Can you assess the client's previous experience with surgery and anesthesia? Yes, because this is both the responsibility of the nurse and the anesthesiologist. That's part of your assessment. You have to know what's called the history, present illness, past medical history, past surgical history. You have to know that because there might be an allergy to certain medications. How about ask the client's parents to wait in the waiting room? No, the patient is a minor. So what are our answers, people? What's the answers? Wonder Bird is leading the way. What's the answer? Five and seven only. All right. A lot of people have answered multiple answers. I'm so sorry, but you guys get zero points because this is a right minus wrong. 
kind of thing, right? This is a right minus wrong question. So if you answer too much, you're going to get a penalty. That's one of the things you need to remember with next gen NCLEX. But don't be scared. That's why we're doing these classes to help you understand and guide you how to answer these things properly, all right? For many people that have consistently getting incorrect answers from number one through number five, I can honestly say that your problem as an expert for NCLEX instruction is with the concepts, all right? Go to classes, attend review classes. If you don't have the money, go grab the NCLEX scholarship by Kinetics USA. Or if not, then try to talk to one of my team members who might be able to help you. But you need to invest on yourself. NCLEX is a very expensive exam. You don't want to be taking it multiple times because you keep failing. I've had a student fail seven times, right? Seven times. On the seventh time, or no, no, failed six times, I think. The seventh time she joined Aspire R and finally, after trying so many different programs that actually didn't work for her, because all they do is take your money and put you in a group class that's doing the same thing all the time. Each student is different. That's why, yes, we do group classes in Aspire R, but you get your own personal student advisor and personal mentor that tracks your progress and makes sure you're progressing correctly and in a timely fashion. If not, we can tell you, you're not ready. Maybe you need to spend more time in this phase or maybe take more of these exams first before we can proceed, or we can help you proceed to the next phase. That's called guidance. That's called mentorship. Not a lot of review providers do that because they don't have time for that. But in Aspire RN, we care for you. We treat you as an individual, not as another number or student, right? Very important to partner with the right people and invest with yourself, all right? Answers five and seven. Riza, um, NGN classes will start on March. Right now, we're still transitioning the students to the from the old program to the new program. Everybody that will start. So my NGN master classes, I have three phases in my review program. Just watch my TikTok. I'm going to release a video, um, I guess, tomorrow. The first phase is the concept building phase. It takes eight weeks to finish that. That's 24 live classes every weekend. And in the remaining days of the week, you have activities like post tests and certain stuff. Um, and then after eight weeks on your month number three or month number two, for four weeks, you do NG and master classes every weekend, right? And after that, you do your final coaching phase or hit classes, which is 10 days of live classes, question and answer only just like this for the next 10 days. That, but you you progress to different phases depending on your ability. You're not going to get to NG and master classes if your concepts are not good. Because even if I teach you for 10 hours a day, if your, your concepts are not good, it's not going to help you, right? For Riza, my whole review program is $550, but we're going to be offering promotions this month. All right, in connection to the NGN program that we're going to be releasing. So please watch out, follow Dr. Nurse Paul and Aspire RN. We're going to be announcing very important things this week. All right. I'm going to talk to you about the program in private message because some other people are here online and they're waiting for the answers. Number five and seven are the answers here. Let's go to question number six. All right. Nothing was changed in the case. It's still the same case. All right. Same situation. Thank you, Mar. I think Mar was one of my students in the past. Thank you. I've been in the teaching industry for 15 years. Before I left the Philippines, I was teaching there for 10 years, 10 generations of, and of nurses that I've taught. So I'm an old guy now. I'm an old man, but uh, happy to be able to help a lot of nurses. I feel like I still have more to be able um, to, to help more nurses to become quality, safe, and effective nurses that we need because we have so much shortages right now in Americas, right? Anyway, guys, we're going to have to highlight the findings that indicate a worsening of the client's status. I'm not, I don't have the ability to do it right now with StreamYard, but let's highlight, all right, the findings that indicate a worsening of the client's status. So what are you going to highlight? Clients post-operative day after a splenectomy, 
and is able to ambulate in the corridor three to four times a day with minimal assisted uh, assistance. So there's no problem there. How about the second sentence? Client has clear breath sounds, a left-sided chest tube in place attached to a closed chest drainage system. There's no problem there. How about sentence number three? Tidaling of the water chamber noted on deep inspiration. Is this correct? Is this normal? That is normal. How about the fourth statement or sentence? Client refuses to use the incentive spirometer. It causes left-sided chest pain. Is that normal or abnormal? Is that correct or incorrect statement? Should we highlight that? Should we highlight that? Yes. You can start highlighting from client refuses or you can also start with the word refuses, action word. So I prefer that you guys start highlighting from refuses to use the incentive spirometer causing it causes left-sided chest pain, all right? Either or, it's going to score you the same, okay? But sometimes there are compound sentences. Here we go with the English classes. And this is why I like NGN because... Now you have to learn English as well. Sometimes there's compound sentences like, okay, the titling is found on deep inspiration and the suction chamber has absent bubbling. So now there's two sentences in one sentence, compound sentence. So you only highlight those things that are being looked for right? or that we are looking for. In this case, worsening client status. All right, how about the next sentence? Client is using prescribed patient-controlled analgesia device maximally every hour and still continues to have nausea and vomiting so i will highlight that all right because the patient's already on maximum pain management but still nauseated and is vomiting which means the patient's still uncomfortable and is still in pain which means the medication is not working it's not enough dose the patient's in pain patient's uncomfortable if you don't address this they can sue you so we're gonna we're gonna um highlight that as well how about the next adequate urine output nope abdominal surgical incision dressing is clean dry intact with no erythema edema or drainage that's also nope so there are only two things that i will highlight the client refuses to use incentive spirometer and the client is using prescribed pca device maximally every hour continues to have intermittent nausea and vomiting those are two signs that the patient is not improving and is worsening all right so in the actual end clicks, you're actually going to click and highlight. I hope you guys can do that. That's basic computer skill. <laughs> Just like you're highlighting words in the internet and copying it and pasting it to your Facebook posts or copying and pasting in Microsoft Word. It's the same, but you're going to have to highlight it and it's going to turn color yellow during the end clicks once you highlight. So click and then drag to highlight, right? That's one of the new things in NCLEX, highlighting, right? April, please send me a message at Dr. Nurse Paul in Facebook, and I'm going to be able to help you and my team, right? All right, you guys have questions. Who found it easy? Who found it difficult? Who found it challenging? Be honest with me. Be honest. I know some people found it easy. Some people found it confusing. But that's why we're doing a lot of these drills to train you live how to answer these types of questions and how to attack them. And so you can also figure out your deficiencies, all right? Will there be penalty if you highlighted the whole sentence instead of just some parts of sentence? Shelly, no. But then again, that's only for simple sentences. If this is a compound sentence where one sentence is composed of two standalone sentences connected by... What do you call that? Interjections? I forgot. I'm not an English major. But the end or but or or, if they're connected sentences, then you cannot highlight the whole thing because that's two sentences that you're highlighting. All right? So it's only per sentence or per phrase. Need to review concepts, Shelly said. Tricky but passable. Of course, Mitchie. All right? With proper training, yes, you can. Can you guys pass your NCLEX? Can you guys pass your next generation NCLEX? Very good, Rhoda. This is a very important um, comment by Rhoda. Can we um, flash that on the screen, Ma'am Melanis? She said, it is challenging, but easy if you are equipped with the content information. That's right. So that's why I keep emphasizing next gen NCLEX is just another way to test your knowledge. Don't get be, don't 
get scared with that. What you actually need to prepare with is your concepts because now in the form of case scenario where you are overwhelmed with reading hundreds of words to find out the problem, um, it can easily trick you if you don't know the concept. So a lot of people are not able to answer the first few questions because they don't have a full grasp of what is pulmonary embolism versus what is bowel perforation versus what is splenic laceration versus what is hypovolemic shock versus what is stroke. So that's a problem because you get confused with things like that. All right. And thank you guys. I do this every Saturday. So please join me. Can you pass your next gen NCLEX? Yes, I can. Follow Dr. Nurse Paul in Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. I do live classes every Saturday, 8 a.m. Central U.S. time. That's Texas time. And I do Secrets of Next Generation NCLEX every first and third Saturdays of the month. Every second and fourth Saturdays of the month, I do USA Nurse Series. That's very good conversation with experts, with people of experiences migrating to the U.S. And we're talking about many things like contracts and moving into the United States and settling into your work and finding jobs and bringing your family. So many learnings. I love talking to my peers here in the U.S. So please follow and support Dr. Nurse Paul as I do these free classes so we can help more nurses. I know a lot of nurses don't have adequate funds to really be in a review program, but that's why Kinetics is offering NCLEX scholarship. We're going to flash that one more time on the screen here at the bottom. All right. We're going to flash the link where you can apply for NCLEX scholarship under Kinetics USA and Aspire R. And all right, so go click that link right now, fill up the form, and one of the kinetics recruiters will, will get hold of you and explain to you how the scholarship program works. But we have hundreds of kinetic scholars in Aspire R, and right now, many, many scholars. Thank you, kinetics, for trusting Aspire R, and thank you guys for trusting Aspire R and Dr. Nurse Paul. I am here to help you. If you guys have questions, send me an email. Info at drnursepaul.com. That's info at drnursepaul.com. Or just follow me on social media and we're going to get a hold of you once we can. We have tons of messages, but we're still trying to like respond to everybody. So be, please be patient with us. All right. And also follow Kinetics USA. We do these classes every Monday with other U, uh, Kinetics partners. And there's a lot of shows that Kinetics do, actually, which I love because they do immigration Q&A day. They do their onwards and upwards days. So many shows. I love working with Kinetics USA. I've been doing shows with them for a long time before I put up my own show. And that's why I have my own show because I was inspired with what Kinetics is doing. All right. Thank you guys for allowing me to help you guys today. Thank you for being patient with me while we had Kinetic connection issues at the beginning. If you guys have questions, drop a message in my Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok, and I will respond to you as soon as I can, all right? You guys have a great day. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Every first Monday, Kinetics College with Kinetics USA and Aspire RN with Dr. Nurse Paul. You guys have a great day. Bye.